Back pain can be quite uncomfortable, but it usually goes away after a few weeks of home treatment. However, once you have back pain, it's more likely to recur. Back pain can be brought on by heavy lifting or sudden uncoordinated movements, which can strain muscles and cause discs to rupture. Arthritis, osteoporosis, and curvature of the spine can all lead to back pain as well. Treat minimal back pain with stretching, light movement, heat, and over-the-counter medications. For more serious and long-standing back pain, see your doctor and come up with a plan together. Hashtag relieving back pain immediately. Number 1. Ice your back as soon as you feel the pain. When you are first injured, ice can help tame your inflammation. Apply ice packs, frozen vegetables, or a frozen towel to your back during the first 24 to 72 hours of your injury. After that, switch to heat. Apply cold for 20 minutes at a time. Don't apply cold therapy more than 10 times in a 24-hour period. Put a cloth between your skin and the ice. Number 2. Apply heat going forward. After the initial period of icing your injury, apply heat. The heat will stimulate blood flow and promote healing. Make a warm compress or buy one. Electric heating pads, hot water bottles, heated gel packs, and saunas can all help. Dry or moist heat may be applied. Try 15 to 20 minute sessions for minor injuries, and up to 2 hours at a time for more serious pain. Number 3. Take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs. You might try taking the recommended doses of any kind of non-prescription non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen or naproxen sodium. If these are ineffective at relieving pain, see your doctor for a prescription medication. If you take other medications and are concerned about interaction, see your doctor before you start taking non-prescription medications. Number 4. Stretch. Once your pain has subsided, try some simple stretches at home. Not all stretches work for all kinds of back pain, so only do stretches that feel like they are relaxing your muscles and relieving your pain. Number 5. Engage in light activities. While you may need to spend some time lying on the floor, rest is not generally a recommended cure for back pain. Rather, continue your ordinary routine as much as you can. Stop any activity that is too painful. Try going for walks, stretching, and otherwise moving around. When you need to rest, try lying on your back on the floor. Prop your knees up with pillows for more comfort. Number 6. Visit a doctor if the pain is severe or long-lasting. If your back pain does not resolve within a few days, visit your doctor. A back injury that results from a fall or other physical trauma require x-rays and other medical attention. If the pain is severe and unaffected by rest, contact your doctor sooner. Seek immediate care if your pain is accompanied by numbness or tingling. Hashtag avoiding back injuries. Number 1. Lift properly. When lifting things, avoid relying on your back. Instead, stand close to the object you are about to lift. Face the direction you intend to carry the object. Tighten your abdominal muscles, stand with a wide stance, and bend your knees. Do not lift suddenly, and do not twist or bend sideways while lifting. For heavy loads, lift with straight arms, and tuck your chin in. Number 2. Improve your posture. Try to sit and stand in a relaxed position. Imagine a string pulling up your head from the crown. Straighten your neck so that it supports the weight of your head. Roll your shoulders back and relax them. Tighten your stomach muscles so they support your spine. Number 3. Strengthen your core muscles. A lack of exercise can lead to weak back muscles, which can lead to a back injury. While core muscle strength is not definitively linked to lower back injury risk, there is some evidence to support it. Number 4. Be mindful of your stress. If you have back pain, your attitude toward it may shape your recovery. Stress, worry, anxiety, and depression can make it harder to recover from a back injury. Anxiety, in particular, can worsen your experience of pain. Thanks for watching this video.